it's time to cut some ships to pieces because today we're taking a look at Hard Space Shipbreaker. Let's get to work. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. And today we're taking a look at Hardship Shipbreaker, a spaceship salvage game. I've been absolutely hooked by this game for the last couple of days. It might seem very simple at the surface, but it is very, very addicting. But before we dive too much into the game, I should say that this is not a sponsored video. I paid full price for this myself on Steam and I have not contacted the developers or the publishers of the game about making this video. So we're going to cut up some ships and basically I'm going to go over all the interface here because it's probably a little confusing but let's just start by getting in. Basically we have to go and we're going to select a ship and let's take a nice and, and easy one I guess just so that I don't mess it up too much. And here we are in our scrapyard here. We have some various bays out here at the side. We have the furnaces which are the red one. We have the processors which are the blue ones and down below us we have what's called the barge. Let's take a look at our work order here. We need to salvage a reactor, a power cell, some electronics. We already got one electronics, some mechanical parts, some nanocarbon, and some scrap metal from this. Okay, and there's some few extra goodies here on the side. I can see there's some good engines here, two on each side. So I think the first thing I'll do is let's get inside because the ship here has still been in use, or was up until recently in use. So it's still pressurized. And it's no good beginning cutting ships open if they're full of air, because then you're just going to have things flying, flying everywhere, and it's just not going to end well. And they even left some cargo in here. How wonderful. There we go. Let's go ahead and let's vent the atmosphere. There we go. So... We now vented the ship and it's nice and empty from air. So let's get out our cutting tool and we're going to begin simply cutting the ship's ship to pieces. We have these small supports down here. That's basically what's holding the uh, the floor in place. Uh, that should be the last of it. So now we should be able to go down and slowly push the floor out of the spaceship. Perfect. And let's get this out of the way. There are some containers up there on the top. Uh, I probably want some coolant tank, actually. See if we can get that loose. There we go. That's got to go on the barge. And this one. This one's a little bit too heavy for me to pull on my own. So we have tethers. So I can tether this inside the processor. And it gets pulled away. So I'm just going to get the rest of these uh, floor panels out of the way. So we get nice and... Uh, Give this a helping hand. There we go. Get started. Okay, now that uh, we have the floor removed, we can begin slowly emptying the cargo hold here down to the barge. Okay, so here at the back of the ship, we have the reactor. We need to be careful with the reactor because as soon as we move that from its protective housing, it will begin to overload. So we need to get it down into safety on the barge before the whole thing explodes. So I'm going to make my trip down there as easy as possible. And I'm going to remove the floor again. I just unlocked, we have the engine sitting back here. I just unlocked that so that it's uh, it's loose, so we can pull that out later if we want to. But we also need to keep an eye on our oxygen. We st we're still good for now. Our oxygen is the small bar. You can see it says 215, 214, 213, slowly counting down. That's our oxygen in the central lower part of the screen. And when that runs out, we need to go back and get more. Okay, but we managed to clear access to the reactor, which is up here. So let's pull that out and be very careful with it. And get that down on the barge. There we go. And we managed to get ourselves a reactor. Okay, so we're back in the reactor room and we need to get access to the engines, which is located behind this wall. Unfortunately, this, it's not that easy to get this wall out. So we're going to cut our way in and we're going to get this tool here. And we're just with a laser going to be cutting away this panel. Now we have to be careful because there's some fuel lines running behind this wall most likely and we don't want to accidentally hit a fuel line because lasers and fuel lines they don't go too well together. So we're going to pull out this wall piece get it out through the hole we made in the floor Oops. and this one goes in the furnace 
That was not the best hit ever, but I think it should be fine. Yeah, it's it's good. Okay. So here you can see there's the fuel line I was trying to avoid hitting. So we just for good measures, we're going to close this. Okay, I think I got most of the support here for the side of the ship. So now we should be able to just simply pull the side panels off the ship. And indeed we can. So that was our shift. Oh, nice. We actually ranked up. That's perfect. So we got access to some new unlocks. I'm going to go and show you guys this as well. But let me show you some of the equipment upgrades. Uh, if we go in here, we have our different modules. We have the, the laser cutter here. And as we just ranked up to rank 6, we got access to some new unlocks. For instance, we can get more range or we can have better cooldown on our laser cutter. That's quite nice. I really like that one. So I'm probably going to get that. Oh, this is a big one. Let's just get some, uh, some speed up here. I wonder where you enter this ship. Oh, up here on the top. Okay, got it. Oh, look at this. This is like a, like a passenger ship. Okay. Let's vent it. Ah, okay, look at this back here. We have at least three engines. Holy shit. Ah, God damn it. I need to get out of here. God damn it. Oh, this is not good. Can I close this again? No, I can't. Okay, I'm just making my way back into the ship because I did notice that in here there was both some oxygen tanks sitting here on the wall. Filling up my oxygen. Fuel for my EVA pack. There were some repair tools. And I'm hoping, yes, a first aid kit. There we go. Now we're in a lot better shape than we were before. Okay. I'm gonna keep trying to cut out these engines. There are two more over here. Here we go. Now things are happening. I finally managed to get the roof off this thing. That should mean I can now begin to pull out some of all these support structures inside the ship. And actually begin to gain access to some of the modules inside. Okay, I did manage to make quite a decent dent in the ship here. I uh, have just a few seconds left of the ship. So I think I'm gonna, gonna call it here for today. If you want to go and play the game yourself, it's available on Steam. It's, it's early access, so you can go and you can uh, try it out for yourself if you want to. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.